dear students in class 10 chapter 2 polynomial we will read what is polynomial today polynomial is an algebraic expression with n terms where the exponent of the variable is in the form of a whole number uh, an expression in which only one term then it is called monomial an x a polynomial which contains two terms then it is called a binomial or an expression which contains three terms we can read it as a trinomial or an expression in which n terms then it is called a polynomial we have learned this definition in class 9 now next degree the highest power of the variable given in the polynomial is known as degree of the polynomial as you can see that in this polynomial the degree of the highest power of variable is 3 therefore degree of this polynomial is 3 the types of polynomial are as first linear polynomial a polynomial in which the degree is 1 then it is called a linear polynomial we can represent it as ro under root 3 x plus 5 or 2 by 3 y plus 1 these are the forms of linear polynomial similarly a quadratic polynomial a polynomial of the degree 2 is called a quadratic polynomial just for the the example of a quadratic polynomial is as 2x square plus 3x minus 2 by 5 the general form of a quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c where the uh, a is the coefficient of x square b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant term now next cubic polynomial a polynomial of degree 3 is called a cubic polynomial example 3x cube minus 2x square plus x minus 1 the general form of a cubic polynomial is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d now the next thing is zeros of the polynomial what is zero you have already learned in class 9 a real number k is called the zero of the polynomial if p k equal to 0 or the value of the variable for which the value of polynomial is equal to 0 then it is called the zero of the polynomial in the next term we will uh, show the geometrical meaning of zeros or the graphical representation of a polynomial for linear polynomial suppose there is a polynomial px equal to ax plus b where a is not equal to 0 then its graphical representation is in the form of a straight line as you have already learned in class 9 and this straight line intersect the x axis at a point where that point the coordinates of that point is minus b upon a and zero for a linear polynomial we got a straight line and its graphical or geometrical representation that is this line intersect x axis at only one point where the x coordinate is known as the zero of that polynomial so a linear polynomial intersect the x axis at only one point now next we will read about quadratic polynomial hence there is only one zero and that is the point where the graph or line intersect the x axis just for uh, this example we can uh, represent the graphical representation of a polynomial px equal to 2x minus 5 for the representation we need the solution of the polynomial where the solutions are in the form of x x x coordinate and y coordinate and these are 1 and minus 3 and 4 and 3 now you can see that the uh, this straight line 
intersect the x axis at a point where the coordinates of that point is 5 by 2 and 0 hence the zero of the polynomial is 5 by 2 now quadratic polynomial a as all of you know that a quadratic polynomial is a polynomial where, where its degree is 2 For a quadratic polynomial, there are some conditions to represent the graph, or from these graphs we have got some uh, results. First, if the in a quadratic poly 